Hey guys, this is Russell Holly with Geek.com, and we're going to take a look at screen mirroring on the Galaxy Note 10.1. But first, we've got to turn the TV on. Screen mirroring through all share is Samsung's big tool for uh, pretty much all of their TouchWiz properties, but the Galaxy Note 10.1 is one of a few devices that operates primarily in landscape, which means when you share it to a television, you also are sharing in landscape. This is a pretty big deal. You don't wind up getting the kind of weird uh, sideways experience that you get when you rotate a phone. So you, you get almost the entire television screen. You've got a little bit on the left and right there. It doesn't quite fill the screen, but it gets really close. And it's a direct mirror of what's going on on the tablet. You can go through and, and flick and choose whatever you want. What makes this kind of cool is how it switches between screen mirroring to specific application mirroring. And uh, a big example of that is with Google Play Movies. When you start a movie in Google Play Movies, instead of mirroring the image that's going on with the tablet to the screen, it actually shifts to an all-share broadcast tool so that you get the movie on the screen uh, and you can you can continue to watch the movie. You can even uh, turn the tablet off or, or uh, uh, turn the screen off on the tablet if you chose to. Um, but if you want to continue interacting with the tablet, you actually get uh, a control interface. You get a really basic, it lets you know what the title is, it gives you a, a brief description, tells you where the video is loading, and you tap the screen, you've got basic pause and, uh, you know, you can, you can scrabble through and everything. So you've got those kind of basic controls there, and it's not consuming so much uh, battery life on the tablet, because it's not playing the video in both places. Uh, this doesn't apply when you're playing games. When you're playing games, it does uh, play in both places, and the delay is just about a second. It's just under a second worth of delay. And it's it's enough that, you know, if you try and play by looking at the screen and, and listening to the audio on the screen, it'll probably mess you up. But if you're giving a presentation or if you're, you're trying to show off an application uh, to a group, then this would be a, a pretty good scenario to show off what it is that you're doing. And really what you'll find... Uh, as you continue to, to play through and use the application, is that that, that one second delay ends up being uh, pretty minuscule. You know, you, you can jump through and do a lot of things with with just around a one second delay and, and notice that there's not a huge deal. You'll see here uh, when, when the character jumps, there's very, very little delay, uh, you know, between what's going on on the television and what's going on on the tablet. And a lot of that is the, the all-share protocol. This is sharing to a Samsung television that already has all share baked in. It's connected to the same wireless network and the stream quality gets pretty good here. Uh, definitely faster than Miracast or HTC's uh, proprietary streaming protocol. Samsung definitely knocked one out of the park here. This is a screen mirroring uh, for Samsung's TouchWiz on the Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. Thanks for watching.